I merely want what's mine. Give me that back. Shit, a gun. Okay, don't worry, folks. We're Nathan Drake, the most badass leapfrogging gelhead fucker in video games. We can survive Spanish zombies, crazy Serbian terrorists, and clowns. We'll be fine. Shit! It's okay, it's okay. I've got my best mate here to call an ambulance. No, what are you doing? It's not a flesh wound, dude. Oh, you suck. Fool! Oh, you're bloody welcome, your majesty. Jesus. Well... Shit. Welcome everybody, I'm Rage Leopard from the Dark Podcast, and thanks for joining me for this Let's Play fun time of Uncharted 3 Drake's Deception. Now I know I started this series on Chapter 17 as something for testing the waters of the YouTube Let's Play world, because in all honesty, I never thought it'd get as many likes and positive feedback as it has, considering we're a very new channel. But it's definitely meant so much that a lot of you enjoyed the first video and gave it so many thumbs up. And thanks to you guys and the fact that I love making these, everyone can look forward to a full Let's Play fun time series from me for Uncharted 3. Anyway, enough of my crapping on, let's go straight to the very first chapter and we'll begin the Let's Play Fun Time of Uncharted 3. All men dream, but not equally. Those who dream by night, in the dusty recesses of their minds, wake in the day to find that it was vanity. But the dreamers of the day are dangerous men, for they may act their dream with open eyes to make it possible. This I did. So, Uncharted 3 follows the story of nomadic larrikins Nathan Drake and Victor Sully Sullivan, two plunderers looking for a quick paying job and priceless treasure. At the start of this instalment, the pair find themselves pacing through the gloomy mean streets of London on their way to bargain a deal to exchange Nathan's prized Francis Drake ring for a fat-ass case of British pounds. Being an Australian, I'd hop on that exchange rate as well. Just like all cinematic action-adventure movies this game attempts to pay homage to, this entire sequence takes place in a bar. Taking place upstairs, we meet for the first time bald henchman Charlie Cutter and one of the key antagonists, Talbot. Hands up. Enjoying yourself, pal? Oh yeah, you're a comedian. Nice warm welcome. They're both clean. My apologies. One can't be too careful. I'm guessing you're Talbot? Mr. Sullivan. And Mr. Drake. That's right. Do you have it? Let's uh, see the money first. Cut out. It's all there. Now let's see it. I'll need to authenticate it. Of course. Silver, 16th century, Elizabethan design, inscribed with Sir Francis Drake's motto. Well, it appears to be genuine. Well, of course it's genuine. If I may ask, how did you two come into this? Does it matter? <laughs> My client will be very pleased. Hold on a minute. Sully, this is fake. I assure you, Mr. Drake. Oh, oh you are right. This is phony as a $3 bill. What the hell are you trying to pull here? Perhaps I should be asking you. This is bullshit. Deal's off, pal. And you? You can tell your client. You blew it. 
Come on, Nate, let's get the hell out of here. You're not really in a position to negotiate. Now give me the ring, take the case, and walk out of here like gentlemen. While you still can. Do as the man says, son. You're a thief. Well now, that's ironic. Now, since this is the very first tutorial of many spread over the first few chapters of Uncharted 3, we'll follow it note for note since this sequence focusing on melee combat is an essentially important part of playing the overall game, so forgive me if these moments are a little stale. As we're subdued into the pool table, tap the square button to throw a punch back before quickly countering an incoming pool cue slice from Charlie Cutter with the triangle button. The thug in front of you will come at you for a fight, so it's imperative you begin throwing punches again with the square button while watching for oncoming strikes. Come on. Now that we're caught in a bind, you can quickly get the thug off you by tapping circle repeatedly to break out of the grab, or if you're the sensitive type like a lot of you are out there, you can relent from mashing the button and enjoy some good old fashioned slow dance. Get the fuck off! Now we're free from Mr. Slow Dance, we'll get Sully back onto his feet and resume the brawl with the thugs. Since more than one thug begins coming at us this time around, make sure you keep an eye out in the bottom right corner for the triangle button, as it'll pop up so you can perform a counter and keep from being injured. Eat pool table, bitch! Hey mate, where do you shop? Walmart! Taking down our last thug by cracking him in the nuts, we'll begin to make our way towards the exit. That's a huge bitch! Now, for the sake of appropriation, we're going to call this guy Chongo. To save ourselves some dignity for this fail of a takedown, we'll fast forward instead to getting our asses kicked. Oh shit! Never fear, my friends, as there is always a way- Oh yeah, we're fucked. Get him! And just like that, we're officially into chapter one. You spilled my drink! Now, as you can see, this angry bastard is none too happy that we've spilled his drink, so naturally we'll hold the circle button to grab him and then force him into the bar by tilting up on the left thumbstick. While we have him pressed up against the bar, we can tap the square button to grab a nearby physical object to use as a melee weapon, in this case, a bottle of empty beer. Guinness? Come on, dude, everyone knows you should drink Budweiser, you prick! Now, using everything we've just learned, it's time to fuck these guys up and turn up the music for a good old-fashioned London pub rule, lads. Oh, thanks so much for meeting me for drinks, you fuckhead! Now we're done with our business here, we're free to head over to the bar and cave the remaining thug's head in. Now with the room empty, we can start making- Oh, for crap's sake. Now this giant bastard has to be taken down, and we're so badass we're gonna do it with our bare hands. Because considering we have an arsenal of sharp broken glass all over the floor out in the other room, and a mate outside who can't help but stand idly by without helping, we must be pretty damn stupid. Oh god, it's like being hugged by Shaquille O'Neal. Ah! Oh! Shit! Oh, I'm good. I'm good. You, Drake? Okay, ready for more. Nice stuff, mate. Now we've learned a very important lesson, we'll throw a couple more punches until we're given the cue to counter. Be quick to counter unless you want to eat some more urine. Once we've countered, we'll begin wailing on his face until he charges us into the stall and tries to pile drive us, at which point we'll tap on the triangle button to counter and... Leave him to chow down on some fucking toilet water. You okay in there? You hurt? Just my pride. Yeah, not to mention I've probably got one of my fucking balls shoved back up inside me. Okay, so with this area of the pub taken out, we'll make our way back into the main area and take a quick look around before we proceed on. A part of this series is also making sure that all the collectibles on offer are collected and shown where they reside so you guys can get them too. The first is located in a change slot in the arcade machine in the back corner against the wall. The second and final treasure of this chapter is located behind the bar, on the floor right up near the furthermost liquor case. And just that easily, we have both treasures, though in all honesty, they're not as tricky to find as some in later levels of the game. Now, before we head through the kitchen, we'll take another moment to walk back around the other side of the bar and proceed up to the furthest right corner and focus on a little easter egg that I found during my second playthrough. Looking on the counter, we can see on a folded up newspaper, on the front page, there's an article about scientists containing to struggle a deadly outbreak. The subject of the picture is actually lead animator for the Uncharted series, Joshua Scher. Of course, this newspaper is a reference to The Last of Us, the top secret PlayStation 3 exclusive that Naughty Dog have been working on for two full years already. 
Though this isn't relevant to Uncharted 3 in any way, I just thought I'd show that off to you for those who had no idea it was there, and it's a nice little tidbit nonetheless. Making our way back through the kitchen, we'll bump into three more thugs. As Sully will take out the one at the end, we'll head to the right and take out the oncoming two thugs, creating a makeshift guillotine with a nearby freezer for the first, and making the last remaining thug eat some fucking fridge. Now we're done committing what I'm pretty sure is a mass epidemic of probable brain damage, we'll make our way outside. Into an ambush. Shit. Oh, crap. Ah, oh, damn it. Come here. Typical bloody yank. All talk. Hey, 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 hey. Is that enough? Haven't you, mate? Don't. Stay down. Hello, Victor. Kate? Still wallowing in the gutter with your protege, I see. Not very dignified for a man of your age. Should have known you'd be behind this. Oh, careful now. Wouldn't want you to melt. <laughs> Same cocky little shit. So fearless. I wonder what you're really afraid of. Not bullets or blood or broken bones. No. You get off on all this, don't you? Cheating death. Or not. No. <laughs> Mr. Sullivan, I won't harm your precious boy. I merely want what's mine. Give me that back. Cut her! Oh no. Oh. Shut, Shut up. up! You fool! Oh, you're bloody welcome, Your Majesty. Marlow, we have to get you out of here. Oh, come on. They're a right pair of arseholes. Wow. And just like that, we're dead at the very first chapter of the game. Quite interesting choice, Naughty Dog. But it continues. Boom! Now we're a young kid. And just like that, we've stepped back in time and we find ourselves as a semi-pube-free teenage Nathan Drake in the surly streets of Cartagena, Colombia, 20 years before the story of the game is set. We'll take a quick look around and then we'll begin to tiptoe our way into the Francis Drake Memorial Museum to go and steal his precious ring. And that concludes Chapter 1, another round, my friends, and this episode of Let's Play Fun Time for Uncharted 3. If you guys enjoyed this video, definitely be sure to give it a like and then sound off in the comments with all your feedback that you have. I know this is a very uneventful chapter, so to get things moving for the next Let's Play video, it will cover both chapters 2 and 3. So we can accelerate proceedings back to the London portion of the game with the following episode to speed things up a bit more. Once again, my friends, thanks for watching this latest episode and keep an eye out for the next one very, very soon. This is Rage Leopard signing off. We'll catch you again soon.